It is often said that life imitates art, and life and art can be both beautiful and violent. And more often than not, the truth is stranger than fiction. Welcome to Terabytes. Let's take a peek through the looking glass at the scary, weird, and unsettling. Vacations are supposed to be a time of relaxation, a break from the normal humdrum of life. Unfortunately, just because you travel somewhere else doesn't mean you don't take your demons with you. Elisa Lam was a 22-year-old student at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, Canada. In January 2013, she arrived in Los Angeles for what should have been a welcome break from the cold north. Checking into the Cecil Hotel on the 28th of January, she was initially in a shared room until her strange behavior prompted complaints from her roommates, after which she was moved into a separate room of her own. Lam had called her parents back home every day, as she had been suffering from both bipolar disorder and depression. It was an important routine for them to check in and hear from their daughter. On February 6th, the day Lam should have checked out, she missed her scheduled call. Worrying about her well-being, her parents called the Los Angeles police. Elisa Lam had disappeared. After days of searching, flyers and canine units, as well as her family traveling to Los Angeles to aid in the search, nothing was turned up. In desperation, the LAPD released an elevator recording, the last known sighting of Elisa Lam, in hopes of finding out more information. But really, it only led to more questions. The strange behavior shown by Lam on the video had been described as a mental breakdown, fleeing from someone chasing her, or even possession. You can judge for yourself. During the days of searching, other guests at the hotel began to complain about low water pressure and a strange smell, as well as an unusual taste. This led to a search of the rooftop water tank, and on February 19th, the discovery of Elisa Lam's body. It was later deemed an accident and blamed on the history of mental illness Lam had been suffering from, though not everyone was convinced. What is even stranger is the history of the Cecil Hotel itself. Once dubbed the Suicide in the 1960s, the hotel was the host to a large number of suicides beginning in 1931. Additional violent events and salacious activities, including hosting many adulterous couples, drug activity, and prostitution. It was even rumored that Elizabeth Short, also known as the Black Dahlia, was seen drinking at the bar just days before her heinous and, of course, still unresolved murder. In 1964, a long-term resident named Pigeon Goldie Osgood had been raped, stabbed, and beaten to death in her room, in what is also still an unsolved murder. The Cecil is also rumored to have been home to the Night Stalker Richard Ramirez for a few weeks in the 1980s, during the time of his killing spree. Finally, in 1991, serial killer Jack Unterwerger also stayed here, possibly in tribute to Ramirez. During his stay at the Cecil, he murdered at least three prostitutes for which he was convicted, however, committed suicide before serving his sentence. Then there is Elisa Lam, one of the latest victims of the newly rebranded hotel Stay on Main. Was this just an accident? Or perhaps the hotel, and whatever is inside those walls, is the most successful serial killer of all time? It seems this is truly one hotel where you don't check out. You're watching Terabytes. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more unsettling videos. Have an idea for a future video? Leave us a comment below. Until next time, sweet dreams.